The new advisory on Tropical Storm Erica is in. We're still watching and waiting to see where the system will end up as South Florida remains in the cone of concern. Hello again, everyone. Erica still holding its own as it moves closer to the Caribbean. Next couple of days will be crucial in its development. We have night team coverage tracking the storm. Chief Meteorologist Phil Farrow has that newest advisory, and the news is that cone has shifted slightly again, Phil. Hun, you are correct. As a matter of fact, as of the 11 p.m., it remains a tropical storm, 45 mile per hour winds. It really isn't looking that good on satellite imagery, about 110 miles east southeast of Antigua, and that's in the Leeward Islands. Now, how far is the system from South Florida? Well, we basically have to go past the Bahamas, east of beyond Hispaniola and Puerto Rico, and there it is. We find this blob of orange. Now, over the last few hours, we have seen these darker colors pop up. And that's indicative of a system trying to get some more thunderstorm activity. But right now, it's just very ragged. And it does not look like a symmetrical system when they're really healthy. And that's why the National Hurricane Center kept it at 45 miles per hour. It is under 1,500 miles away from us. Now, the latest model runs suggest high pressure to the north, trade winds to the south will continue to push Erica. Look at this. The models are fairly consistent until they get to the Bahamas. Now most of them making a big shift out into the uh, western Atlantic, and that is also being reflected in the official forecast cone from the National Hurricane Center. It looks like the system will continue to make its way across the Leeward Islands, impacting Puerto Rico, going over the Turks and Caicos Islands, and then again, if it survives, it looks like it's going to make its way over some very warm waters right here. And it could be a Category 1 come Monday anywhere inside this red ring. Now, again, the last cone that we showed you had more of a straight path across Florida. It has now shifted a little bit more towards the east. So we're just going to have to watch it here in the days ahead, depending on if it survives. Now, the reason why I say that is because there are very strong upper level winds keeping it in check. The center is exposed. We have dry air coming in, and there are some thunderstorms developing on the backside, but just not enough to give it that punch. Now, if it somehow manages to get a little strength, then it looks like we could have a hurricane as it comes in close to South Florida. However, if it stays as weak as it is right now, then high pressure will keep it down south across Puerto Rico and Hispaniola, dumping some much needed rain. Now, a lot of folks are uh, calling me and texting me, what should we do? Should we put the shutters up? Right now, just take a deep breath, exhale, just stay informed, keep your eyes on the system, make sure you have supplies ready in case Erica shows up. And for you folks in the islands, it's now time to hunker down as this tropical storm is nearing you. It feels like a tropical storm right now across much of South Florida. Look at this. Strong thunderstorms approaching the Keys, impacting all of Miami-Dade and Broward counties. Now let's go over to the uh, Southern Storm Center with Brent Cameron, who has more on what the islands can expect. Brent? All right. Well, the uh, watches and warnings in this latest advisory have not changed, Phil. As a matter of fact, everywhere you see in green, including the Leeward Islands, still under a tropical storm warning. That means tropical storm conditions tonight and tomorrow through Puerto Rico. We also have a tropical storm watch in effect for the Dominican Republic, extending over to the southeastern Bahamas by later in the week and early weekend. Now, the wind field hasn't changed much either. Tropical storm force winds extending out about a little more than 100 miles from the center of circulation. The rain bands beginning to gather around the Leeward Islands, and that will be the trend. Expect anywhere from about three to five inches of needed rain across much of the islands. But heavier rain bands expected Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, maybe upwards of eight inches if that happens. Mudslides and flash flooding could be an issue there. Finally, by air and by sea, just checked in about a dozen flights, two dozen make that, canceled due to the, the approaching storm and cruise lines, including Carnival, adjusting stops and itineraries due to the approach of Erica. That's the latest from the 7 Weather Center.